Hi guys, my name's Rob, this is Decoded, and today we're making realistic soap bubbles in Blender. Okay, so I've got a sphere here, and it's got some uh, smooth shading applied to it, and it's got a subdivision surface modifier applied to it. And we're just going to select this and add a new material, and that should give us just the basic principal shader. And what we're going to do is get this material output, and we're going to drag this across to the side to give us some extra room later. And then we're going to take the roughness value and turn that all the way down. And we're going to get the transmission value and we're going to turn that all the way up. That's going to give us like a basic glass water type shader. But obviously that looks more like a, like a droplet of water than it does a, a soap bubble. Soap bubbles are pretty much clear, right? They're, they're full of air. They've got hardly any thickness to the walls. So what we're going to do is add in a mix shader to solve this problem. And we're going to connect the principle to the bottom input and into the top input we're going to do a search for a transparent shader make sure you get transparent not translucent transparent shader plug that into the top input and then what we're going to do is use a layer weight node okay and if we just take a look at the layer weight node it's got two output it's got Fresnel which kind of changes the color depending on the angle. So as you can see, the, the closer we get to the edge, the whiter it gets. And we've got facing, which just puts as a black spot basically on whatever's directly facing the camera. So we're gonna get the facing and we're gonna connect that to the factor of the mix shader. And if we take a look at that again, what we can see is that now the, the whole thing looks a lot thinner. And the reason it looks thinner is because the, the very center is like more visible. But we're going to turn that value down on the blend to like 0 0.2. And that looks a lot more like a realistic bubble. However, if you look at a picture of an actual bubble, a soap bubble has like all these uh, sort of colors where the light refracts through the water that's suspended in the air. You get all these different like swirling patterns of, of colors. So we can add that pretty easily. We're going to do another search here. I'm going to search for a noise texture and I'm going to use control and shift just to take a look at this uh, noise texture here. And you can see it's added some colors. Let's get the, the color output and connect it to our base color. Then we're going to set the, uh, the scale to two. We're going to put the detail all the way up to 16 and the distortion we're going to put to 6. And you can see here now this is kind of looking like swelled up uh, soap patterns. Right, so if we have a look at our full shader again, you can see it's added the colors to the outside, but the problem is they aren't really very visible. What we can do to fix that is we can add one last node, and that's a hue saturation node. We're going to add that and just drop it in between the noise texture and the principal shader. And we're just going to put the saturation up to something like four or five. And now you can see we've got the, uh, the full colors coming through there. So if you give that a render, that should look something like this. Um, as always, guys, if you use this material, please leave a link to it in the comments. I would love to see it. If you found this helpful, subscribe to this channel. I put up a couple of videos every week now, and I would love to have your support and love to have you come and view some of our other videos.